It's seven decades since the Conference of European Rabbis opened its headquarters in London, an alliance of Jewish leaders coming together to support and protect, through political influence, Jewish communities across Europe. But since Brexit, the organization has been looking for a new home. They've now found one and have begun the process of moving to Germany, Munich. There were a number of uh, raised eyebrows, let's put it that way. Shimon Cohen is a London-based member of the Conference of European Rabbis. He explains the rationale behind the move. It was a perfectly sensible understanding right across our membership that London was, not, no, was no longer the place to be to have influence in European policy. The reality is now it's not going to be the chief rabbi of the United Kingdom that the European Parliament listened to, and therefore we have to be headquartered in part of the European Union. Null tolerance. Last month, Bavaria's president, Dr. Markus Soder, at a gathering in Munich, was given an award by the Conference of European Rabbis, in part for having extended the initial invitation to move to the city. The Conference of European Rabbis was formed here in London shortly after the end of the Second World War. Now, from a purely practical and pragmatic perspective, they've taken the decision to move to Europe. But for many, it's not just about a political influence, but there's an emotional decision being made too. Why? Because the destruction of European Jewry started in, Europe, in Munich. And therefore, it is very symbolic that we are coming back to Munich with the support of the government. And we are in the process of rebuilding European Jewry. The city where Adolf Hitler began his rise to power, generations ago, the capital of the Nazi movement. Now once again home to a thriving and influential Jewish movement. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, London.